video we are going to be doing pregnancy update week 21 and 22 I hope you guys enjoy and we're just gonna jump right into this video alright you guys for week 21 and 22 my weight was at 150 I did do a Christmas tree blog and I think you guys have seen it already. We also got to decorate the tree. I went to the store and I got back and Evan reorganized the whole living room. And I was like, oh my god, it was a hot mess. But luckily, I was able to get it back to how I like it and how it just feels Anyways, right. you guys, so the update for the baby. Now that the fun story is done. <laughs> the update for the baby, um, we were having some issues with our baby. And that's something that I wanted to keep very private. I didn't want to share with anyone. And I'm still I'm making this video and I don't know if it's a good idea for me to share it or not. Because it's really personal. Uh, we didn't tell our family. Well, I didn't tell my family until today. So that's why I'm like, okay, now I can film this video. But um, we were having some issues with our baby measuring small. But luckily everything is fine. Everything is okay. I didn't want to tell my mom this news because I didn't want her to be worried about it but um, we went to the specialist today we saw we did several ultrasounds and everything is fine I guess the baby is small but it's still on the normal range even though it's small so therefore that's why Evan says well maybe because it's so small it's a girl <laughs> which I don't know if it's a girl or not we still don't know the gender. It's so funny because my neighbor, she uh, she just saw me today. She's like, how is it? How are you? How is the baby? I'm like, everything's fine. And she tells me, what are you having, girl or boy? And I said, I don't know. I don't know, Josephine. I don't know what I'm having. And she's like, you're lying to me. You just don't want to tell me. And I'm like, really? I do not know. I have no clue. People at the store tell me that, that it's a girl. Some other people tell me it's a boy. I have no idea, to, to be honest, you guys no clue <laughs> but um it was very frustrating at first knowing that there was something wrong with the baby i mean quotations because there's nothing wrong it was stressful and i was like oh my god here we go again when i had rosa i didn't know that rosa had the right poses i didn't know anything i was not aware of what was happening to her until she was born and to be honest i'm glad i didn't know because when they tell you that something is wrong with your baby when you're pregnant, when they find out that there's something wrong. And if they can't do anything about it, it's kind of like really frustrating in my opinion. If they can do something to prevent whatever the issue the baby's having, then that's great. But if something is wrong with the baby and they can't help the baby or you, I feel like it's more frustrating, is a lot of stress for the mother. And it's just no good. Like I said, when Rosa was in my belly I didn't know anything when she came out that's when we were like oh my god there's all these issues that that are very visible like you know so at first I was a little sad a little depressed to find out that there was something wrong with the baby but then I thought to myself you know what I did it once I can do it again it's not a big deal and if it's already in my belly and there's something wrong with my baby I can't control it there's nothing I can do there's nothing that the doctors can do so let it be you know you just work with it that's how I see it that's that's just my way of thinking it is wrong you just work with it I I know I always I don't I always think of this incident when I had Rose I don't know if I shared this with you guys before but when I I had her they took her away like for the first two days because I was the I was at the hospital for two or three days I don't remember to be honest but they took her to um to a children's hospital in three days I believe um, I was pumping milk for her because I couldn't breastfeed her because they didn't know what was happening to Rose. I had her an observation trying to see what was the issue um I remember going to see her like you guys I had a c-section like Two, three hours later, I was already walking because to me, I was not a priority. My priority was my child. And I remember the doctor coming in and saying, oh my God, who? who? She said, oh, where's the mother? And I was standing doing things. She's like, oh my God, you just had a C-section and you're standing. And I'm serious, you guys. It was not about me. I didn't care how I felt. I, It, was, it didn't matter. <laughs> All that mattered was that Rosa. So anyways, um... They took her to Children's Hospital here in San Diego. 
and when I went to see her after I got a discharge of the hospital for the c-section I went to see her and she was crying right away I knew which one was my child as soon as I walked into that room the NICU and she was crying and crying and crying and the reason why she was crying is because her bones were broken they broke her bones not because she was in my stomach and she was broken they broke her bones when they took her out the nurse and it, this is all so crazy all, this story is crazy because we I have a video of what happened to Rosa when she was born and the crazy thing is that I thought I lost it I thought I lost the video and then like a month ago my friend Andrea she messaged me on Facebook and she's like hey Leslie look what I found one of your memory cards that I had here at my house I don't know how I got it and she happens to like send me a picture of it and it is the videos and the pictures from when Rosa was born, which I thought it was really crazy. I still haven't picked it up from her house. She has it still. Hopefully she doesn't lose it after all these years that she's been having. The nurse was trying to straight, straighten her legs. Her legs were like bent and crossed all the way to her stomach. She was trying to like stretch her out. <laughs> she was just very ignorant and and it was pretty obvious that there was something wrong with the child, but she was just like, oh look, it doesn't hurt. That's what my, my mom and my brother said. And anyway, so she was broken. <laughs> so I walk in, she's crying, and I'm crying, right? So we're both crying. She's crying, I'm crying because she's in pain. She's crying because she's in pain. And I'm crying because, oh my God, I can't believe this is happening to my child. But then I remember I had a moment where I thought to myself, her crying and I crying, we're not going to get nothing done. So then I wiped my tears and I said, okay, how do I do this? And I, I remember changing her diaper. She was so little. Hey, Rosa. I'm like, I'm getting all emotional. But it's just one of those moments that I was like, if she's crying and I'm crying, we're not going to get nothing done. And that's the way I felt like when they told me that there was something wrong with the baby because of the size. I was like, okay, I mean, I guess I got to do this again. And, and I did it before. I can do it again. It's not an issue. I mean, of course, you don't want nothing bad to happen to your kids, to your babies when you're pregnant. But if, but if it's out of your control and you can't do nothing about it, then it is what it is, you know? And luckily, nothing is wrong. But I'm very glad that I didn't find out that Rosa had arthritis poses when she was in my stomach. I, It would have not made a difference. And in fact, it would have made my whole pregnancy very unpleasant and depressing and all of the above so i'm glad that i didn't know but when they told me that this was happening it's kind of like it's crazy because i get to see both sides of when you know and when you don't know <laughs> luckily everything is okay they did um tests to see if there was something else with the baby or what was the reason why the baby was so small and luckily everything came out normal I'm very happy to know that the baby's fine I told my friend right away that what was happening and she told me Leslie it's fine and I said no at first I was like no everything is wrong everything is wrong and you know why me again oh my god but then later on she's like dude she, she tells me Leslie stop being so negative and I was like okay she's like everything's gonna be fine and then that day was pretty hard for me and my husband and I remember my husband comes in the room and we, we started talking and he told me, Leslie, everything's okay. Everything's okay with the baby. And that made me feel so much better. And I and that's when I accepted the fact that if there is something wrong, I will work with it and I will deal with it and it's going to be fine. Because I did it before, I can do it again. That's how I felt. That's So I told my mom today and she was so worried. She looked so scared. And I'm like, don't worry about it. They run all the tests and everything came back negative. We are fine. So no need to worry. And then my brothers are calling me, Leslie, are you okay? Is the baby okay? What is wrong? I'm like, dude, nothing is wrong. <laughs> That's why I didn't want to tell anyone when it was happening at the moment. So to be honest, I, I felt like I could handle it. But I don't know about my husband. I don't know how he would have felt about the whole situation. That's who I was more concerned about. Yeah, not me. I, I was like, I can do this. I got this.
you know, everyone takes news like that differently. But, um, yeah, it was pretty interesting to see both sides of this knowing and not knowing if there is something wrong with the baby. And I think when I explain the way I feel towards towards this situation to my mom, she kind of like felt like, yeah, she's right. I mean, you can't control it. You can't do anything about it. And you just make it work. That That's, that's it. I mean, there's no other options. I mean, yeah, there's options, but... I wouldn't, I wouldn't go that route or any other route. I would just take care of my child, even if, if it was disabled or not disabled. You know, that's just who I am, I guess. And at first, I was like, "Why me? Like, why me again?" <laughs> and then my friends like, "Because you're extra, extra special." <laughs> I was like, "I don't want to be special anymore." <laughs> but I'm happy to know that our baby is okay and it's healthy. I guess it's little, but in a good way, not a not a <laughs> not in a bad way. And whatever comes my way, I know I'm gonna be able to handle it because that's just that's just what I do. I make it work, even in the worst situation. I make it work. I'm not here sitting and bragging about how great I am, but I'm just saying like I make things work. I try to look at the at the positive side. Although I can be very negative at times, I can be very positive. I, my mom tells me, you go to the extremes, Leslie, either big or small or, <laughs> you know, like there's no in between, like in the middle. If you ladies are going through something during your pregnancy, just know that everything's going to be okay. You know, things happen for a reason and things do get better. You know, try to look at the positive side or the bright side of the situation. That's just my advice. That's, that's just what I can tell you guys from experience because I have experience a lot. <laughs> I've whenever I sit down and talk to my mom because we are all, when we when we get together we're always talking. I love talking as you can tell. Um, try to see the positive on whatever the situation is and learn from it. There you go. Learn from that experience. Whether if it's a mistake or things that you have no control over just learn from it and you know next time i will do it different next time i will do it different that's just how it is this year a lot of things happened to me you guys a lot i became more mature i had an incident at the airport where i didn't react the way that i should have but then but then i thought to myself you know what if that happens to me again i will ask for a supervisor or you know a lot of the times I'm very nice. I'm a very nice person. And being nice all the time is not a good thing. You have to speak up for yourself and say what you're thinking at the moment. If you sound silly, I know when I was talking to the doctor and all this was happening, to me it was for like a month that we were dealing with this issue. With the baby, I I was asking questions that my husband thinks, oh my god, you're so, you don't make any sense, Leslie. But I really don't care. You know, even if you think I'm silly, when I sit here and I make my videos, I know a lot of the times I'm not speaking okay and I'm not saying things correctly. Or when I write something here on my YouTube and it's spelled wrong. Because this is the reason why I don't like my husband watching my videos. Because he always tells me, oh my god, I can't believe you don't know how to spell that word. Or how to write that word. And I think to myself, I honestly don't. I really don't. I'm not doing it because... I'm trying to be cute or nothing like that. I just don't know how to spell. Writing is horrible. I, like, I just don't know how to write properly. And that's something that I have struggled with even in Spanish when I was little. I went to school in Mexico until... I think my elementary, I did it in Mexico. Then my middle school, I did it in LA. But I just... I never... That's something I had a lot of issues with. But the one thing that I always was very outstanding was in my arts. My arts was always the best. Leslie is so talented. Leslie knows how to sing. Leslie knows how to dance. That was like my, that's like my strong, like my forte. That's my special talent, I guess. Being artistic, that's just who I am. Spelling and writing and everything else is just not. And I'm not sitting here making an excuse, but it's just not. And I went to college. I didn't finish, but even when I'm there, I struggle a lot. But anyways, I don't know how we got off topic. <laughs> but just don't let anything stop you. 
that's just how I see it. If I thought to myself of every single comment that people say, you don't know how to say this, speak proper English, like, I'm, I'm just like, hey, I'm going to continue to be me, whatever. If you don't like it, you don't have to. If you don't like me saying whatever word that you don't think I'm saying right or I'm repeating myself, then don't watch it. Don't watch me. Nobody's forcing you to watch my videos. <laughs> really, nobody is. I think everyone, whoever clicks on my videos is because they, like, either they really enjoy me and they, they like what I put out there and you guys are like, oh my god, it's so much fun. <laughs> or they just... People don't like me and they just want to watch to see what I'm doing. Eh, doesn't matter. I'm still going to be me. I'm still going to do me. I'll tell you this, for the longest, I have been, I am the activity leader at my church for the young girls, which are ages 8 and 12. And we do activity night every Wednesday. And today is Wednesday, so we did our Christmas little party. And it was a lot of fun. I also got them this little uh, bags that are like sequins and they were just playing with it. You know those sequins like my pillows? I have pillows like that. I think it's that one. The ones that you go up and down and they change color. I wonder how is it going to be like with four kids, you guys. I wonder if I'm going to have time to sit down here and make videos. Hopefully, I can still make once, once a week. But you know what? Once a week, it feels like it's a long time. <laughs> Since I'm being uploading lately, like, more often, I feel like once a week, it's really, like, far, far away. But don't forget about me, you guys. I will keep making videos, even if it's once a week. I'm planning on delivering this baby naturally. I do not want a C-section. Hopefully, that happens. I'm crossing my fingers. And for the month of January, like I mentioned, I'm going to be doing more baby updates. I did purchase some things for the baby, some little basic outfits, because like I said, I don't know if it's a boy or a girl, so I cannot go shopping the way I want to. <laughs> but um, my sister-in-law is going to be giving me uh, some of her clothes that Lucy used to wear, so that's good. I'll have some Lucy clothes, and also if, if it's a boy, I have Leo stuff. So that's what my husband said. He's like, ah, oh, the baby will be fine. Don't worry. My thyroid is doing perfect. There's no issues with my thyroid, which I'm really happy. So everything's looking good now. We're on the clear. We're on. <laughs> there's no more danger. There's no more nothing to worry about. And I'm, I'm very happy about that. Oh, I'm falling asleep, you guys. I'm really, really tired. <laughs> I'm going to show you guys my baby bump. And yeah, I think that is it, you guys. Thank you so much for stopping by. Let me know in the comments down below how do you feel about everything that I just talked about. And um, I know I, I think I talked a lot on this video. I always do, though. I, my mom's like, Leslie, you talk too much. <laughs> when I was little, she said that I used to give her a headache <laughs> asking her questions all the time. Yeah, but anyways, and, and back then, you guys, there was no Google. You had to give me an answer back then, or else I would not stop asking her. Even my cousins, my older cousins, uh, Aldo, one of my, my cousins, he would be like, Leslie, you talk too much. <laughs> but anyways, thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoy this video. Did you guys, I'm going to show you my baby bump, and I'm going to go to bed after I take all this. I'm actually going to jump in the shower. But look, this is my baby bump. Hello you guys, what do you think I'm having, boy or girl? Because I have no idea. I would love to hear your thoughts. Boy or girl? Like, let me do the front. Ooh. <laughs> and the side. Boy or girl? Comment down below. I want to know what you guys think. <laughs> this is pretty exciting though, like not knowing what you're having. I think it's more fun than finding out what you're having. But, yeah. <laughs> Anyways, I will see you guys on my next video. Bye. Kisses, you guys. I am going to bed now. I'm tired. Okie dokie. <laughs> Bye.